Hello, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a free Minecraft 1.16.3 server that you and your friends can join and play on. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description and it'll take you to the Minecraft website where you can download the Minecraft Java Edition server. You want to, where it says download Minecraft underscore server 1.16.3.jar, you want to click that and download it. Keep it safe, I promise. And then you want to, like, minimize out of your screen and drag this onto your desktop. Now once you're on your desktop, you want to right click, go to new, and click folder. You want to name this whatever you really want to name it, whatever you want to identify the server as, I'm just going to call it server 1.16.3, then click enter. Then you got this folder, and you want to drag server.jar into that folder. Then you want to open up that folder, and double click on server1.jar. Some new folders should pop up, mainly logs, server.properties, and then most importantly, eula.txt. You want to double click on that and it'll open up notepad. If it brings up what you want to open it with, you want to open up with a notepad. And then right here where it says EULA equals false, you want to delete false and write EULA equals true, all lowercase, EULA equals true. Then go file, save, X out of that, and double click on server.jar again. It should open up the server log and all these files should appear here. And then after it's done, it should say preparing spine area. And then after that's done, it should say done. And after that, you're good. You could go onto it right now and join it, but none of your friends can. So now let's get it so your friends can join the server. So you wanna type in this like command prompt or whatever you wanna call it. You wanna type in stop. That'll stop the server. You want to do that every time you're done with the server. Okay, once you've done that, in the bottom left here, you want to type in CMD. Then click enter. This should bring up your command prompt. You want to type in IPConfig. I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. IPConfig. Then type in enter. And it should bring up your IP4, IPv4 address and your default gateway. Now what you wanna do with this is you wanna save these numbers. I'm just gonna leave this open, but if you wanna save these in a notepad or whatever you want, just remember these numbers. So then what you wanna do is you wanna take your IPv4 address, copy it, just do something with it, just know it, and open up server.properties. Then you wanna scroll down to where you can find server IP. You want to paste or whatever you want to put your IPv4 address in server IP. Then file, save. And now we have to port forward. Port forwarding might seem scary, but it's okay. It's easy. So you want to go to your browser and then you want to find your default gateway. You want to copy that, do whatever with it, and then you want to go to, you want to go into the search bar and paste your default gateway there. Then you click enter. And then this will bring up probably a sign in feature. You want to sign in with your router's username and password. So you want to find your router and whatever it is, you want to find its username and password. Type that in there and then click sign in. This is your router's page and it'll probably look different than mine because you probably have a different router. But to do this, you need to port forward. So you need to find anywhere on this website where it says forwarding, any type of port, port forwarding, anything like that on this website, you need to find it and go to forwarding. And then mine looks like this. I click add new and then on service port you want to type in 25565 anywhere where it says port on this create a new port screen 
if it says port anywhere, you want to go 25565. And then where it says IP address or anything like IP address, you want to put in your IPv4 address from this command prompt. And you want to paste it in there. And then when it says protocol or TCP, UDP, or anything like that, you want to type all or both or whatever you want. And then you want status enabled and then you want to click save. Okay, the second step is you want to find your IP address. So basically what I do to find your IP address is what is my IP address. You look that up and it'll show up your IP address. Mine is blocked out because you don't want to give your IP address to anyone. You can DDoS attack them with it. You can find out their exact pinpointed location. So mine's blocked out so you guys can't see it. But you want to take your IP address, copy it, and you want to go back to this folder. And to start your server, you want to double click on server.jar. That'll open up this again, and it'll start loading. You'll know it's done loading when at the end of the command prompt, it'll say done. Once it says done, you're free to go into the server. So how do you get into the server? You get into the server by opening up Minecraft, going to latest release, because Minecraft will automatically update this with the latest release. So basically this can go for any version of Minecraft. Then you wanna click play, and then you want to click direct connect to join the server and then you want to put in your IP address. I'm not showing you mine because again you can't tell that to anybody except for your friends but so I'm going to go ahead and join the server with that and then as you can see we joined the server. Okay if you can't join off your IP address then try joining off your IPv4 address. If your friends can't join off your IP address then you did a problem but if your friends can join with the ip address but you can't that's okay that's perfect you can just join with your ipv4 address okay also take note this is not a public server that you can give anyone the ip to join you can only give your trusted friends this ip because it's your ip and they can hack you they can know where you live, everything with that IP. So you only want to give this to your trusted friends. Okay, I hope this helped you a lot. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.